hello guys uh, welcome to python graded assignment program week 9 so let's start with first question file name is a csv file that has the following header so this is the column names uh, it is a snippet of that file so write a function named get calls that accept file name and the name of a country as arguments it should return a tuple having two values uh, num players num goals num players is the number of players of this country that appear in this file num goals is the total number of goals scored by all the players who belong to this country if the country is not present in the file then return tuple minus one minus one okay what they are telling is the method get goals uh, should return two returns okay two return statement one is uh, if the country is present means we need to return the number of players who played for the country and the number of goals the total number of goals scored by the country if the country is not present in the file then we need to return minus one minus one so that is the question so the answer is so this is the get goals and we are uh, passing two parameters file name and country so in first line we are reading the file uh, okay then in second line we are reading the first line first line of the file and we are saving it in record okay then we are initializing a uh, player list this player list is to save the name of the players who played for that country and then we are initializing flag and total goals this flag i tell you later on for what purpose it has been written so this total goals is to save the total goals saved by the country so we are initializing it to zero and then there is a while loop this loop will uh, terminate at the end of the file because at the end of the file there will be null so when it sees null this loop will be terminated then uh, list to one equal record strip dot split comma okay uh, the line which we uh, read okay we are splitting that line with commas and saving it in the list one okay so at index zero the name of the player will be there so we are running and index one the player's country will be there at index two the number of goals will be there so then we are checking that the this player's country is equal to the country which we have given so we are checking that if it satisfies it will come inside and we are checking the player name is present in the player list this list we are checking the name is in this player list if not we are appending appending means we are adding the player to this list so then we are making the summation of the total goals okay so here you can see i am putting int because here uh, it will be in string type so we can't make addition operation with testing so we need to convert that uh, to int so int we are uh, casting it okay uh, then this flag this flag i told you okay this flag is for see this condition if the country is not present in the file then return minus one minus one to check the country uh, is uh, came at least once or not this flag is used okay so if the country at least came once uh, this flag will be set if not this flag will be zero so then here we are reading the next line and it will go on till end so uh, then the, these are written statements uh, the first written flag equal to equal to zero flag equal to equal to zero means the country given is not in the uh, file so we need to return tuple of minus one minus one okay then another return statement is else uh, we need to return the number of players played for the country so this list will contain the all the players who played for the country after executing this so the length of this list will give the number of players and the total goals we are already doing the summation here so the total goals will give the uh, goals scored by the country so 
this is the uh, first question answer next this is the second question you are given two non empty text files file 1 and file 2 that have f1 and f2 lines respectively each file is a collection of 10 digit uh, phone numbers one number per line it is also known the 0 less than f1 less than or equal to f2 the following relations are defined on these two line files okay subset subset means file 1 is a subset of file 2 if the uh, phone number in the it line of the file 1 is equal to the number in the it line of the file 2 okay so this is okay equal f1 is less than f2 then equal for equal uh, file 1 is equal to file 2 if the number phone number in the it line of file 1 is equal to the number in the it line of file 2 for i is less than or equal to n i is less than or equal to f1 and the f1 is equal to f2 so both look similar only difference is this f1 is less than f2 this is f1 is equal to f2 uh, f1 and f2 nothing but the number of lines f1 is number of lines in file 1 f2 is number of lines in uh, file 2 so if file 2 has more lines and any of the uh, numbers in the same line equals then we can say f1 is a subset of f2 okay but any of the it line of file 1 is equal to it line of file 2 but f1 number of lines in file 1 and number of lines in file 2 are equal then we need to uh, consider it as equal okay then uh, write a function named relation that accepts uh, these two text files as arguments it should return the strings uh, subset if file 1 is a subset of file 2 it should return uh, equal if file 1 is not equal to file 2 uh, if both conditions are not satisfied it should return the string no relation okay so there are uh, three return statements okay one one is uh, subset or equal or no relation okay that's it so let's see the answer 